Do you ever get the call from a customer that it keeps coming up on the display and it says change pad and they just change the pad on the filter pan? Well, in this video, we're gonna go ahead and show you how to check your drain pan switch in the control without even getting out your multimeter. Come into info and P, press both those at the same time. That gets us in our info mode. And then from there, we're gonna scroll on over till we get to AIF info. And then we're gonna use the F button here to scroll down. So then you can go ahead and take your filter pan, slide it back in. Once it contacts the filter pan switch, if it's engaged and it should go back to a check mark. You pull the filter pan out and you get the X then that's an indication that your drain pan switch is functioning properly. However, if you have the filter pan pulled out and you still have the check mark on the display, that's a good indication that your filter pan switch is stuck in the closed position. It may just be that it's gummed up or the switch could be bad. So after you have the filter pan out for a certain amount of time, it's going to go ahead and reset the count within the control for the filter pad. To check this, you can go ahead and scroll down until you get to pad equal hours, and you can see here then that it's reset to zero. And then to get out, you go ahead and press the same two buttons, info and program at the same time, and then you can exit out. So that's all there is to it when it comes to checking the drain pan switch in the event that they're getting a continuous change pad coming up after they had changed the filter pad. 